Hello everyone and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. When we last left off, we were arrested for numerous crimes by Angelo Dosan, who claims he is the new commander of the Flaming Fist. While that's obviously a lie and he's been purchased by Saravok, someone has tampered with my cell. Now, were this a tabletop session of D&D, our thief would crack the locks and get us all out of here. For whatever reason, everyone can't do that, despite being a master of lockpicking. So someone yeah, here had get to right get me that. out of here. Well, let's go find out. Someone in the cells? Hey, who are you? Useful gadgets I have. Yes, I do. Hey, you. I wonder how you got out of your cell. Did someone leave it open, or perhaps you managed to pinch my key? Oh, no, you haven't. <laughs> so, are you the group that's wanted for, the, for murder on three different accounts? Don't try to deny it, I know it's you. Well, <laughs> my name's Neb. So why are you in prison, Neb? <laughs> I killed some little street urchins. They're such a clutter to this city, you know? They scream good, especially little, little girls. As much as I want to call this asshole for the monster he is, I need his help to escape. So, Neb, do you know what's been going on in the city lately? Oh yeah, lots of stuff. You know about Doak Eltan, don't you? He's been diseased. That's why Angelo's in charge now. It would have been Scar, but he went out and got assassinated. <laughs> ah, the city's gone downhill over the last week. Too bad. <laughs> Let's talk to him again. <laughs> You're getting impatient in here, are you? Useful gadgets I have. Yes, I do. I got a way out, yeah, you know. <laughs> Hidden it well, haven't I? Search all you want and you won't find it. <laughs> <laughs> good old thing, society. good thing old Neb decided to mix a bit of illusion craft with his thievery, yeah? Sure, sure, I'll tell you what you want. Murderer to murderer now, monster to monster. Are you wanting out? Uh, please, we'll do whatever it takes. It's very important we get out of here. <laughs> sure, sure, everyone's wanting out, but does the world really want us out? Maybe it's safer we just stay in here. Monster to monster now, murderer to murderer. How many little children have passed away at old Neb's hand? Not one, not two, not four, not seven, not twelve, nor twenty, but the next one. The next one in the sequence. One, two, four, seven, twelve, twenty. One times two is one, two times two is four. No, that isn't it. You killed thirty-three children, Neb. May the gods and all their souls wreak their vengeance. The souls come, and I shall kill them, too. In a world without justice, the gods are little more than a divine puppet show. Come, tunnels through the wall here, and it's time we cut ourselves free from this confining womb. We're out. All right, Neb. I hope I never see you again. Top of my to-do list. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Duke Elton. I don't know why I kept wanting to call him Intars. Okay, we need to leave, as they're now attacking. Dreadful. It's such insolence. His popularity may be soaring, but I'll not cast the votes for about such as he. The nerve of the man. What's your trouble, my lady? Is any of your concern? I'm simply furious at that Saravok man. I did not raise a fortune in this city by letting such as he stroll off with my assets. I've had dealings with the Iron Throne Mercantile Group for some time now, and though I did not approve some of their other ventures, they were at least honorable business people in their contract with me. Now that Saravok leads them, he has all but declared my previous contract null and void. You'll get no sympathy from me if you lost gold dealing with a group like the Iron Throne. Okay, we need to get the fuck out of here. Fast. I don't want to kill anybody anymore off this because my reputation yeah, will drop right to a disastrous point. As such, I won't be able to get services, which I still desperately need. I am the law! Whoops. Oh, uh, God, I don't know why that delights me so. And Top away we go. Northwest Baldur's Gate. Why did it put us in the East End? Okay, so Silver Shields Estate. Way ahead of you, boss. We're on our way there. Now there, we need to meet someone. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm a wanted murderer. You fuck. Okay. My team's gonna give him the runaround while I go speak to somebody. This way. Why me? Yeah? What do you want, huh? Yeah, I'll get right on that. We're looking for somebody outside the Silver Shield estate. Somebody by the name of Sugar. They were, they were a prostitute. And they actually saw someone who was murdered last before I left town. Keep him walking, kiddos. Uh, no, that's gonna suck. How can I lead them around? Why me? I don't see them here. Top of my to-do list. This is easier to do if you're hasted and invisible. I don't want to talk. Why me? As I go desperately a hunting, guess they're not in the building proper. Top of my to-do list. Must be outside. Sorry if I keep clicking back. I gotta keep this group moving, or we're going to have to murder someone All in a way right. that is most unpleasant. What you got for me this time? Especially for my reputation. Nobleman, nobleman. Top of my to-do list. I have precious little time to waste. I've got to find that person. Ah, shit. All right, keep moving, everybody. Keep moving. Go pester someone else. Why me? I must rest. I know, Vicania. I know. I have got to find sugar, though. Top of my to-do list. I did not intend to spend an episode doing this because uh, her location was not exactly mapped out beforehand. I don't think she even appears until All right. this. Top of my to-do list. So unless you want to watch me go ahead and run around for ten minutes, I'd suggest scrapping this episode. Why me? Or passing on it. Way ahead of you, boss. Alternatively, we could duck into the sewers. Hmm. I need an L. Yeah, Kagan, right. keep going. There's Sugar. He found her. Yeah, I'll get right on. Now, that. note where she is. Hidden down here behind everything else. Now we can leave. Why me? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Hey, sexy. Do you want to take a look at me, Diddy? Do I know you? Uh, I do know you. I do. You work for Scar. Uh, at least Daddy is. How do you know? I never saw him myself. There's a man in the Blushing Mermaid who saw it all. He charges ten gold pieces for the tail. His name's Ivan, and if you're so curious about it, I recommend you check him out and leave me to my business. Well, the Blushing Mermaid. That's a ta that's a Top tavern out here. List. I believe that's in Baldur's Gate Northeast. Way ahead of you, boss. And we won't manage to do so without murdering flaming fist guards. Gather your party before venturing forth. Alright. Onwards. The blushing mermaid. Yeah? What do you want? By conveniently uh, no game. What the hell? Yeah, I'll get right on that. That's an interesting glitch. Way ahead of you, boss. <laughs> Ivan. Oh, yeah, hi, it's another one. I need a swig or some mm. strong I be Lars, you be Carmine. Don't try to deny it. You should not have come to Baldur's Gate. You've given many warning before, but ignore them. Now you must pay. 
Sorry, but Lars must kill. I'm really starting to get tired of threats. Everywhere I go, I'm threatened. Well, you big lug, you're just gonna end up like all the rest of them. Lars, crush you now. Crush you to paste. Huh? Lars, I have some bad news. Again, you disturb me. Ra uh, Raven Feeblement. My blade will cut you down to size. And he's... He, oh, he made his save. Damn. Aye, would you like to pay a penny for a tale of murder and deceit? Ten gold it be and worth each one. A dark price for a dark tale, but I'll pay and hear it told. Heh, <laughs> Scar it was, second in command of that noble flaming fist, and on a dark night, street, dark night, a night dark street it happened. The rain was spattering against the window's glassy panes, soaking up through me boot wraps, giving me the chill. A cunning cutthroat rushed on him on by him and and cut the straps of his travel purse with a blood-sharp knife before turning down the alley. Hey, good man, Scar, he chased the culprit there into the darkness as I came stumbling through the puddles to do it is to his aid. Yeah, silver skin chink Oh, he was killed by a doppelganger. I'm not gonna run through all this because we're already eleven minutes in, and I'm in the middle of a fight. I like that he came up and just started talking to me in the middle of a brawl. You got this dude's kind of tough, actually. Absorb his health. Yeah, I love that ability. 14 magic damage and heal for 14 points of HP. Uh, that failed miserably, so I don't want to fireball in here. So you're just going to have to throw sling stones at him. Actually, yeah, that's probably more damage than magic missiles. Ow! Fucker hits hard. Jeez! He's rolling really high lately. Actually, no, he needs... 6 plus 3 equals 9 hit. Uh, last I checked... Oh, that's right. He has a really high thaco. What you got? Way ahead of you, oh, he has a really high strength. Oh, that one's God. Leave a mark. Jesus, he nearly killed me. Wow, we're going to have to rest. Did he critically hit me? No. God. Yeah? What do you want? I would have been dead if I hadn't absorbed health. What's he got? Huh? Dauntless of weapon skill and a bunch of rings. And a bunch of cash. We need to identify that so she can use that. We need a room. Bork. Bork, Bork. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. Noble rooms, please. You close your eyes tonight, and visions of candle keep swim into view. As you pass through the gates of the citadel, there is a flash of memory, and you are a child of only a few seasons once more. At your side is Gorion, gray-haired even all those years ago. How old must he have been to age so little in the time since? Aged as he ever was, you still have to run to keep up with him. He has an important meeting with Ulrant, the Keeper of the Tomes. An important meeting about you. Funny, you don't remember it. As you stand outside the doors of the Inner Keep, you can hear the shouting from within. Gorion seldom raised his voice, though you did not care to listen to the discussions at your previous stops either. As you trace patterns in the water of a fountain, a reflection distracts you from the argument. A large raven has perched atop a stone wall and stares directly at you with huge black eyes. You stare back through the mirror of the water and are suddenly afraid to meet the bird's gaze any other way. It has claws for feet. You think to yourself, little skeletal claws. The doors of the keep suddenly swing open and Ulrunt storms out. He glances at you for a moment, but looks away as he speaks. You both can stay, he sneers, but mark my words, that child will be the death of you. 
A flash of memory once more, and Gorion walks out of the keep as he is today, dead. You drop your gaze back to the water so as not to see. The raven is gone, but your own image remains. Your eyes are black, like those of a bird. Like father, like child, the reflection says. You wake with a yell, predictably unrested. Well then. I'm going to go ahead and let this finish scrolling and call the episode here as we're running a little over. What a dream. I'll see you back here next time on Baldur's Gate.